CataractCoach.com, upside down IOL. Who's at fault? Watch and decide, is this a surgeon error or a scrub tech error? Now, I've got two videos to show you. Both were submitted anonymously. I have no idea who the surgeon is. So watch the case carefully. Here comes the lens. Going to be injected in the capture bag. Now, as it's injected, it's probably too small of an incision. And the view kind of goes off the screen a little bit here. But look carefully. Look carefully. There comes the lens. It goes in the eye. There's a hard to see exactly. There it is. The lens is kind of tilted on its side. So the lens is tilted on its side. It goes inside the eye. Think, what's the 7L rule? 7L rule. So now it's on its side. You need to go into the right side of the eye well, right, correct? And flip it the correct orientation. So the surgeon goes inside the eye, and that's the wrong way. And now there's the dreaded S sign. The haptics are in the S sign. So the surgeon had an opportunity to flip the lens the correct orientation. So I think the lens was loaded correctly into the injector, but it's as this can happen, the lens twisted in the injector and it came out kind of on its side inside the eye. And the surgeon had to make a quick decision as to which way to flip the lens. And the decision was to do it in one direction, but it needed to go in the other. So now the lens is sitting here in the eye. It's definitely in upside down. And what are you going to do? Are you going to flip this lens now? Now you can. And the second video I'm going to show you today, you do flip the lens. The surgeon does. But in this case, the surgeon just, let's speed up the video here. The surgeon just plays around a little bit, kind of a little bit in denial probably. And what are you going to do? Now, I've showed you a lens that I did where it was misloaded and went in the eye upside down. And I was able to flip it back in the eye and go normally. So looking here, the lens is going to go in the eye, and what's the surgeon going to do? My advice here is pull one haptic out of the eye. Pull that haptic right there out of the eye. Fill the eye with more viscoelastic, copious amounts of viscoelastic, really create some space. And then with the one haptic outside the eye, it's a lot easier to get it flipped over. So that would be my advice here. The surgeon is struggling a little bit. I'm hopeful that he or she is able to get this in the correct orientation. I don't have the completion of the case. I only have this part of the video where the surgeon wanted input. And again, this was an anonymous submission. Not sure of where this surgeon is, which um, country, etc. Here's the second case, another anonymous submission. Empty capsule bag, filled with viscoelastic. Here comes the lens. It's going to go inside the eye. Watch carefully. Think, what's our 7L rule? First haptic should look like a number 7. And where is it? It's wrong. So right now, what do we have to do? Flip it, flip it, keep turning it, keep turning it. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. All right, now all you have to do, it's in the partially correct orientation. The habit that's outside the eye, flip it to the right. Instead, the surgeon is going to flip this the wrong way. So again, the lens started to go inside the eye correctly. When the lens goes on its edge, this is the importance of that 7L rule. Figuring out which is the correct orientation. And if you always think in your mind, 7L, first habit better look like a number seven. As it goes in the eye, you'll be able to address that. Now for sure, look, it's the S sign. For sure this lens is in the eye upside down now. Now what are you gonna do? So this surgeon is going to flip it upside down. So we're gonna, plenty of viscoelastic in the eye. It would also be helpful to get the lens out of the caps or bag a little bit. So you got to get that out of the bag. Now the key, you have to be careful here. You don't want those haptics to damage or destroy the capsule. Otherwise, you may end up with like a broken bag. And then what? Then you have to explant the single piece lens and switch over to a three piece or sulcus lens. So you got to be very careful here. So plenty of viscoelastic. Again, my, my advice would be to pull one haptic out of the eye. It's a lot easier to flip then. But this first leading haptic that's certainly in the eye backwards or upside down has to be pulled out of the bag. That's a good move. I like that. Now you can flip it with a little bit more ease. And then now I'm going to get two instruments to help flip over the optic. And I think you still have one haptic outside the eye, which is helpful. And then once that can be flipped over, again, as much viscoelastic as you need. And then finally, one thing to really keep in mind, it's almost always the surgeon's fault. It's hard to blame other people because as a surgeon, you're the captain of the ship. 
So yes, there are other team members who are involved in the care and they have some role, but as a captain of the ship, it's your job to kind of take control and make sure things go right. And hey, good job. You flipped the lens to the correct position. And that looks good. Now get the rest of the lens in the bag and set it up and the patient will do great. Thanks for watching.